How to use webmail in direct admin. This demo assumes you've already logged in to Direct Admin. Now let's learn how to use webmail for accessing email from within Direct Admin. Click the webmail icon here. Log in to webmail using your complete POP email address and its password. This is the main screen of Squirrel Mail, and it shows the contents of the main inbox. Click the Options link. On this page, there are several options for configuring the way your webmail displays for you. Although we won't do it now, feel free to alter any of these options. Personal information, display preferences, message highlighting, folder preferences, index order. Click the Folders link. From this page, you can create or delete folders and subfolders which is a convenient way to help organize your email messages. Let's create a new folder. Enter the folder name here. Then click Create. To see our new folder in the Folders list, click Refresh Folder List. There's the new folder we just created. You can create as many folders and subfolders as you like whatever makes it easier for you to organize all your emails. Click the Addresses link. Squirrel Mail comes with a personal address book, which you can use to store commonly used email addresses. Scroll down. Let's go ahead and add an email address to the address book. When finished, click the Add Address button. The new address has been added to the address book and can be seen here. Let's delete an address from the address book. Now let's send an email. Click Compose. To choose an address from our address book, click the Addresses button here. Let's select this address to send a message to. The email address is automatically inserted into the To field. Now fill in the rest of the details. Scroll down. Click the Send button. The message has been sent. Click the inbox.sent link to see the message we just sent. There it is! Now go back to the inbox. Let's delete this message. Now let's move this message to the temp folder we created earlier. Click Move. The message has been moved to the Temp folder. Let's go see if it's there. Click Temp folder. There it is! When finished with webmail, you should always click the Sign Out link. This is the end of the tutorial. You should now have an understanding of how to use webmail 
from within directed men. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to let us know if you have any questions.